Hello, this is Rob Cavan, and today I'm going to be asking, should your blog be on your home page? Now this is another subject that causes great confusion amongst new entrepreneurs and people who want to start up a website for the first time. Here is a conversation between myself and Noura, my new client, about this very subject. So you, you're thinking of kind of the best way is, is pretty much like hers, that it's actually the blog is on the home page itself. No, well, you've got a choice. You can either, you can either have a home page that says things like, um, that says more about you. Yeah, uh, okay. And have a, a blog on a set, the, the blog front page on a separate page. Um, yeah. Or you can have, you can arrive at your home page and it, it's the blog. It's your 10 most recent articles. It's up to you, and, yeah. and and you can change your mind about that as well, and it okay. won't make any difference at all. I mean, I think initially because you know um, I am, uh, you know, an, an unknown. You know, mm. perhaps it would be more effective. I don't know. I mean, I'd like to, you know, obviously discuss this with you to have more about me on the home page mm, and then yeah. a separate blog because you know yeah, no, yeah i agree i agree because yeah. you're yeah i totally agree because you're going to meet people and say i'm Nura Nash. here's my website yeah um, and and they're going to go to it and they're uh, they want to know about your your services and yes. you yeah and mm -hmm. your 10 most recent blog posts you know they they might put them give them the wrong ideas so i i yeah, absolutely agree yeah. and when you become more well known you might yeah. think about putting your your blog as your home page when you first set up wordpress on your website you will see a post with a heading hello world why do you see that that's because the default setting for wordpress is to show your latest 10 posts of your blog on your home page and indeed, this is how many established bloggers show their home pages with the first 10 posts. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can easily have a blog on another page of your website and have your home page be some sort of introduction to yourself. Setting this up in WordPress is very easy. All you have to do is create a new page called Blog. And then in the WordPress settings, under Reading, you can set your home page to be a static page and then select your new blog page for your latest 10 blog posts. And it really is that easy. Whether you have a blog on your home page or on another page of your website is really up to you and it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Maybe when you're just starting out, you'll feel more comfortable to have some general information about yourself and your services on your home page and have the blog on another page as there won't be much to show for it at the beginning. But whatever you do, I wish you the best of luck with your website and I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Rob Coven. Goodbye.